Hello everyone and welcome back to another video movie review by Ian Talk. As always, I'm your host Ian, and today's movie review will be on the new cave film, The Day I Died, Unclosed Case. The Day I Died, Unclosed Case was directed by the female director, Park Ji-wan, who I believe had her feature film directorial debut with this, and the movie had a main cast lineup of Kim Hye-soo, Lee Jung-eun, Lo Jung-hee, as well as supporting cast members Kim Son-young, Lee Sang-yeop, Moon Jung-hee, and Kim Jong-young. The film is a mystery drama that revolves around an unclosed case of a girl that allegedly committed suicide, but her body was never found. Before getting deeper into the review, let's first take a look at the detailed synopsis of the movie. On the night a typhoon passed by, a girl who was underwatched by the authorities on an island jumped off a cliff, leaving only a suicide note behind. In order to close the case as a death by suicide, Detective Hyunsu, who's returning to work after a long hiatus, heads to the island. The former cop who was in charge of protecting the girl can't be contacted, and so she meets with the last witness that saw the girl and starts tracking the now deceased girl's final traces. As she undergoes her investigation, she sees and empathizes with all the pain the girl must have faced, and as she continues to dig deeper into the case, she realizes how similar the girl was to her. With all that she learns about the incident, she starts to think there's more to the story than just a mere suicide. Before getting into the review, I'd just like to say that I'll be giving my thoughts and opinions of the movie from here on out. Therefore, there may be minor spoilers or parts about the movie that you may not want to hear before watching yourself. I'm going to keep spoilers to a minimum, if any, but please be aware of this. That being said, let's get right into the review by first taking a look at what I found to be the good parts about The Day I Died Unclosed Case. First, I love the casting and the acting performances of The Day I Died Unclosed Case. Kim Hye-soo was exceptional, as always, and showed why she's such a respected veteran actress in Korea. She had the most screen time and was able to keep your attention throughout. Furthermore, Lee Jung-eun is such a great actress. I can't express enough how great of an actress she is. She's extremely versatile, and practically everything she's in, she played a different type of character, but executed all so well. It was as if she was a totally different person from when she played a role in Parasite, and it's almost unbelievable that the two characters were played by the same person. And it's not only the main cast members that were good. The supporting cast members were great as well. Kim Son Young is a familiar face in Korean movies and dramas, being in the K-movies Man Mui, The Secret Mission, Miss Beck, and Her Story, to name a few, as well as the K-dramas Crash Landing on You, When the Camellia Blooms, and Romance is a Bonus Book. Moreover, the vibe and tone of the movie reminded me of the movies Me and Me and Voice of Silence, two movies that also released earlier this year. It had a very odd and different type of suspense than what you typically see in crime thrillers, but I liked it. Also, it had a mysteriousness of Me and Me, and if you see my review on Me and Me, you would know that I didn't like how the movie ended. However, I did speak highly of how it was able to deliver mystery, and The Day I Died Unclosed Case has similar mysterious elements as that. What I was disappointed the most in with Me and Me was how it ended, and I kept hoping that this wouldn't have the same fate and be able to finish strong. Ultimately, the ending was way better than Me and Me. It gets a little confusing, but there's a twist and it gets cleared up in the end. Furthermore, it also has similar elements to Voice of Silence in not only the general tone and the delivery, but also how Lee Jung-eun played a mute in this, and Yoo Ha-in was a mute in Voice of Silence. And the final good thing I have to say about The Day I Died on Close Case was the cinematography. I liked how the movie was shot in certain scenes, as well as the camera work it had. Okay, let's now take a look at what I found to be the negatives about the movie. The biggest downfall I found about The Day I Died Unclosed Case was its progression. It was slower than I liked it to be, and I feel like it could have been shortened a bit. The movie runtime comes in right under 2 hours, but it felt a lot longer than that. If it could have finished in 1 hour and 40 minutes or so, I think it would have made for a much better paced film. The movie progression wasn't too bad, but just a little too slow for my liking. And the reason for this is because there was hardly any action, hence it feeling to be on the slower side. Also, I briefly mentioned this in the good parts, but in terms of the story, the ending was good. I liked the twist the film had and it wasn't too foreseeable nor was it too out of the blue. However, the final final scene is where I have my disappointments. It cuts to a one year later sequence, and I just found how it ended felt really improbable and near impossible. 
The tone of the overall movie and the final scenes was too different and didn't match. The Day I Died Unclosed Case was a good mystery crime drama with great acting by great actors. It was a little slow for my cup of tea, but that's just personal preference. The story was good, and if you like mystery movies, I recommend giving this a go. I'll give The Day I Died Unclosed Case a ticket price value of $10. And that concludes today's review on The Day I Died Unclosed Case. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I hope this review has given you some insight into the film. If you've seen or are planning to watch the movie, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the film, so please leave a comment or join the Ian Talk Telegram group and we can discuss further over there. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like more video movie reviews. Pledging on the Ian Talk Patreon would also be very much appreciated. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tinedon's 아빠한테 무슨 일이 있는 건가요? 수사 협조를 하는 게 잘못을 바로잡을 유일한 방법이야. 그때 아빠가 가진 창법 어딨냐고 물어보셨죠? 자기 손으로 죽은 아빠 죄를 밝힌 셈이 됐네. 왜 나는 바보같이 아무것도 몰랐을까요? 모르는 것도 잘못이죠. 그래서 밟았나 봐요. 아무도 안 남았어요. 여기 살던 학생 죽은 거 아시죠? 그냥 뭐 말을 못 하지. 조카가 고르게 되고 용약을 마셔갖고 여기가 다 타버렸다는 구만. 혹시 그 학생이 이 근처 돌아다니는 거 보신 적 있으세요? 여기 왔던 거 알면 귀찮아지실 거예요. 안녕히 가세요. 그 학생이 여기 섬에 다른 분들하고는 막내가 거의 없었대요. 뭐든 얘기해 주시면 큰 도움이 될 거예요. 제...